everyone. So today I'm going to show you part two of the three-part series about the curriculum we're using for next year. And today's part two is on what math we've chosen to use. So as you can see, we have chosen to use Horizons Math, and we have one for our first grader, our third grader, and our fourth grader. And now these are for the 2016-2017 school year, but we did use Horizons Math this year, and we've decided to stick with it again because we really like it. So before I show you um, what's inside the books just a little bit, um, to me, in my opinion, Horizons Math is like a classical uh, way of learning math. It's um, very similar to the way I learned math. Um, the concepts are taught that way. So it is definitely not common core math. Um, it's easily understood and the lessons are not super long. So that is good. So each set comes with a teacher's guide and then two workbooks, book one and book two. And in total, there are 160 math lessons in a Horizons book. And so if you do school five days a week without any days off, you would complete um, the whole year's math in 32 weeks. And most people, unless you school year round, um, do a 36 week school year. So there is enough time for days off and things like that without getting behind because there's only 32 days of work. So um, part of why we like it is because it has really fun um, pictures in here like this and there are colors and so they're never working on the same like concepts or problems for you know like a hundred times um, so it changes and they do little chunks and so my kids really like that about it a lot and what I like about it is the teacher's guide so I'll show you really quickly and if you open the the teacher's guide um, it's going to show you, so it has this little before you start page, um, and it has an evaluation to make sure that you've chosen one that's correct for your kids, which these are for mine. And this is, we're going to keep going. So you could see these are some exercises just to do with them before you start preparing a lesson. It gives you all that information. But what I'm trying to show you is this, the scope and sequence. So every grade level has um, the scope and sequence of what they're working on and how it follows throughout the year. So you can see we start with counting from 1 to 200. Then we uh, move on and we go through place value addition and in order. So at the beginning of the year, before you even start, you already know what your children are going to be learning. And then it has manipulatives, the list of what you'll need and what lesson it's used in. So I really like that too. And then the other part that is really awesome is this. And it is why I really like Horizons. Now this is the same for all the grade levels. So it's not just for the first grade one, which is the book I'm showing you. But it shows how they have formulated um, the, the way that the work is in the book is done. So you have an introduction to each of these concepts listed here, and then you have an intro, and it shows you for how many days they're just introducing the concept. And then it has how many days they do primary practice, and then secondary practice, then they take a break from that particular concept, and then it comes back for a primary review and then a secondary review. Now I can tell you that that has worked really well for my kids because coming from public school, a lot of times a concept is introduced and then it disappears and they don't see it for a while and they don't see how one concept is laid on another. And so this is what is golden about Horizons. Now, I'm sure there's lots of other math um, programs that, uh, you know, do that, but we have only used Horizons, so that's all I can speak about it. So like I said, all of the um, teacher's guides are the same and one lesson in a workbook so you can get an idea of the workload for your kids is simply at the top and it shows you, so we'll see lesson two at the top. So it would be this sheet, front and back, 
and then that is lesson three. So it is not super long. Um, it depends on the concept, of course, and your child's understanding of that concept. But we, um, you know, sometimes math takes an hour and sometimes it takes 20 minutes, depending on what it is. Um, going back to the teacher's guide, now teaching like lower grade level math is obviously not that difficult to teach someone how to count and add. But if you ever got stuck and you were unsure of how to explain something to your children, then this book, um, see the lesson at the top, it correlates. So it tells you what concept they're working, what objective teaching tips, material supplies and equipment that could be helpful. And it tells you different activities that you can do. So it helps you if you get stuck. So like I said, you're probably not gonna have trouble with lower grade levels, but even some things that my daughter, who's gonna be in fourth next year, was doing in this book this year, uh, you know, I forgot about converting fractions to decimals and things like that. And so it was helpful to be able to review that. So that's what we're doing for next year for math. We're using Horizons Math. I will link below in the description some places that you can order this. It's a pretty popular um, math curriculum. It's done through um, Alpha and Omega publications. But what I found is that the price does vary a lot depending on where you order it. So I'll link below where I ordered mine, but we really like Horizons a lot. And if you're looking for a traditional, um, of course it is workbooks, so some people don't like workbooks, but we do. Um, and so that's what we're using, it's going good. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the last part of our curriculum for next year which is our language arts and reading and then miscellaneous stuff. I will try to get that done for you guys next week so you can see. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.